What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. We're at the beginning of a brand new month. It is officially August 1st and that means a brand new movie watching theme here on my channel. So yesterday I did break the news early. I couldn't wait for today. I wanted to get the news out there. So if you're not following me over on my Instagram page at Movies and Sue, then I highly recommend after watching this video, head on over there and follow me because that's where I announce things like this, the theme for the channel for the month. I also do unboxings, what I'm watching every single night, every single night, and also my movie hauls. So follow me over there on Instagram at Movies and Sue. And while we're at it, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel and you love physical media and everything to do with movies, then consider hitting that red subscribe down below, as well as that like button, but most importantly, that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. Now, what is the theme for August? Well, you already saw the thumbnail, so you kind of already know what it is, but it is musicals. I am so excited to dive into my musical pile. It has been so long since I've watched a musical. I enjoy musicals. I was a theater major in college, so it's kind of my area of not expertise, but I really enjoy the musical genre. And I feel like it's a genre that is dying out a little bit or it's not getting as much attention as other movie genres out there, like horror, especially horror. Everyone loves horror movies. No one really talks about musicals. So I'm really hoping that with this video and with a couple of other musical-centric videos that I will put out in the course of the month in August, that you guys will get interested and maybe open your minds up just a little bit to a different genre such as musicals. I'm gonna hype them up as much as I can. So I'm really hoping that you guys follow along with me and watch some musicals because they are a lot of fun and it is kind of like the roots of our movies because a lot of classic films are musicals so let's dive into this what am i watching in the month of august for mus for musicals Woo, here we go singing in the rain have to watch singing in the rain I bought this a couple of months ago. I've yet to watch it. And that's something that I noticed you guys comment on. Susan, why do you buy things but you don't watch them right away? I always have a plan. I always have a future theme in my mind. I knew I was gonna do musical month and I wanted to save Singing in the Rain for musical month. So that is the reason why I have not watched it because I saved it for this time. So I probably might watch this tonight because this is one of the oldest musicals in my pile. It's the 70th anniversary. I get to watch it for the very first time on 4K. How awesome is that? So super excited to watch Singing in the Rain for the very first time. I do have a couple of Criterions, believe it or not. I've been going through my Criterions really, I've watched like seven, six or seven in the month of July. That's really good for me. So I want to keep the trend continuing, <laughs> like watching more Criterions. So I have two musical Criterions here. Hedwig and the Angry Inch. I love this cover. Absolutely fantastic and never seen this. And then also a subscriber sent me this one. It is called The Young Girls of Rochefort. And I do remember, I want to say Philip sent this to me, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong. But whoever sent this to me did write in the note that my mom and I would enjoy watching this together. So we got to watch this before mom and dad go off on vacation in 10 days. Okay. Not that I'm counting or anything. Next up, The Greatest Showman on 4K. I love this musical. The songs are so catchy. This is one of Hugh Jackman's best performances. It's like he was made for this role. Anytime he does a movie in general or, or a movie musical, I should say, or if he's on Broadway, he just shines. He is such a performer. Anytime that you see him, he just commands your attention. And that's exactly what this part requires. And he is the perfect choice to play this part. So amazing, absolutely love it. Love the songs. Zendaya's in here, Zac Efron. They're amazing as well, so good. I can't wait to revisit that one. And it will be the first time on 4K, so I'm excited. How can I not? The Wizard of Oz, a classic on 4K gotta do it also because of judy judy garland is like you know kind of like the queen of musicals that was like her thing so i have a ton 
of Judy Garland movies because of Jasmine in her subscriber box. I believe round two that she sent to me was a bunch of musicals. So this was fantastic because with her sending me all of those, it really bulked up my, my musical collection so I could do this this month. So we have Meet Me in St. Louis with Judy, never seen. We have In the Good Old Summertime and also Easter Parade with Fred Astaire. I'm looking forward to watching this one. I read the description on the back. Sounds pretty interesting. So I think I'm really going to enjoy this one. Okay. We have The Bandwagon, I believe with, yes, Fred Astaire as well. Looks pretty good. Pretty decent. Haven't seen it. One of my favorites that I will live and die for for musicals. It's probably my number one favorite. Chicago. Oh. I love, if you could not tell, I love this musical, but what I love about this musical the most are the performances given by Renee Zellweger and Catherine Zeta-Jones. This is what Catherine Zeta-Jones won her Best Supporting Actress Oscar for. Queen Latifah was nominated. Richard Ge Richard Gere's okay, but like the women are the highlight. They are so good. They are delicious. Their performances are like butter, smooth, nothing wrong with them, perfection. I think personally Renee Zellweger was robbed for Best Actress. She should have won for this. She put her heart and her soul on the table for this musical. You could see it. Watch this and then you will understand. She was amazing. So good. Moulin Rouge. Oh, yes. Oh, this is this is one of, that I love as well. If you can't tell, <laughs> I love it. I, I love it. I adore it. This is where I fell in love with Baz Luhrmann and his directing style. It is kind of weird. It is chaotic, but you enjoy the ride that he takes you on. It's incredible. It is so beautiful to look at. Nicole Kidman, Ewan McGregor, they have that chemistry. You wouldn't think that they would. It isn't an automatic like, oh yeah, they're a couple. But for some reason, they make it work in this film. And I just love it all around. I really do. So it's been a while and I'm looking forward to revisiting that one soon. I can't wait. It's got to be soon. <laughs> all right. Can you believe I've never seen this because of Jasmine? I'm watching it for the first time. Cabaret with Liza with Liza. Liza with a Z. Like I've never seen this. Can you believe that? Where have I been? What have I been doing? <laughs> I say this all the time. What am I doing? Why have I not seen these classic films? All right, so just let you guys know, it's not all straight musicals for this month. I'm also going to incorporate movies that are very music and singing focused, just to let you know. So the next selection is going to explain that, and it is yesterday, because it's not technically a musical, but there is a ton of singing in this movie. So I figure that counts, just to make it a little bit different but not totally outside of the musical box, if you get what I'm saying. So I actually enjoyed this movie. I went to the theater to see it and I had a good time. The only issue I had with it was the movie didn't really know what it wanted to be. Are you a rom-com? Are you a musical? Are you a drama? I felt like it was kind of confused, but overall, it's one of those movies where you just have, you would just enjoy yourself. You just enjoy it. You sing along. It's all Beatles music, if, in case you guys didn't know. It's all Beatles music. So pretty much the majority of us out there know these songs. You could sing along with it. It's a lot of fun. It's been a while since I've watched it. So I figure now would be a great time to incorporate it into, into my movie watching for this month. Let me move the pile over so it doesn't crash and burn. All right, now we're getting into some steel books. You know I love my steel. So here we go. Tommy, not Tommy Boy. That's not a musical. Tommy, Tommy the musical. I found this randomly in I think the Western section or something like that over at FYE, not where it was supposed to be. And I've never seen Tommy. And I know it's one of those classic musicals. So I am excited to watch this for the first time. And I love that steel book. Very nice looking. 
This is one of my favorites as well. It's tied with Chicago. I cannot decide between the two because I love them for different reasons. And it's the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I live and die for this one as well. Mainly because of Tim Curry and his performance. He's absolutely just amazing. Incredible. No one else could pull off what he does in this film. Absolutely incredible amazing the songs are so catchy this musical doesn't make any sense it's like one of the weirdest musicals you you're ever gonna see i'm gonna say that straight out if you guys have never seen the rocky horror picture show just brace yourselves because it's very weird it's very out there but the underlying message is very important and this movie was ahead of its time because it was all about gay pride and gay opportunity but back then you couldn't really be vocal about that so it kind of had to disguise the theme of what they wanted to say with other things if you get what I'm saying so they did it in a very creative way but it's all about being proud of who you are and expressing yourself and I love that that's such a great fantastic message and to have Tim Curry deliver it in high heels I will take that any day of the week absolutely incredible I always watch it for the month of October for Halloween month, but I'm not waiting. I had to, I had to break this out for musical month. I'm so excited. I know I'm excited about a lot of these, but I am because I haven't watched these in a very long time and I've kind of been waiting for the musical month to hit just right for August. So I'm, I'm very, very excited as you can tell. Okay. Next up. I was in this one in high school and that is little shop of horrors. This is a cute, fun, quick musical you can watch. I think it's 90 minutes long. It doesn't take a lot of time. It's just a lot of fun. The songs are just so easy breezy. Like it's it's like doo-wop from the 50s. I love it. It's so great. And the plant goes from this to that in the movie. It's very scary. It's like alien plants wanting to take over the world. That's the concept. It's so ridiculous, but they make it fun. Rick Moranis is the main character. There's also Steve Martin, Bill Murray, John Candy as well. It's got an all-star cast, so it's a very fun, fun, star-stacked musical. Say that five times fast. You cannot have Musical Month and not have Grease and Grease 2. Let's be honest. Grease is like one of the godfathers of musicals. It's been around for so long. Every high school in every district performs it every single year mine included i was in the high school production of greece when we decided to do it and it was a lot of fun it's one of those staples so gotta have greece and i love the pink love the pink and i love the blue i really enjoy how they kind of made it bookends with greece one and two i don't mind greece two i'm probably one of the very few people on the planet i don't love it but I like it. It's like enjoyable and pretty much because of the songs. The songs are catchy. Once you hear them, they stay in your brain for a couple of days or so after you watch it. I don't mind it because the songs are real. They're like peppy. They're nice. They're fun songs. So I enjoy Grease too. Don't love it, but I like it. I like it. Strong like. All right, next up is La La Land. I've only seen this one time before, and when I did watch it, I was under-impressed because I thought this film was overrated. At the time when I watched it and I picked it up, I heard a lot of people talking about it. It's so great. I'm a stone, Ryan Gosling. Oh my God, blah, 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 blah. Like, it's so great, all these things. And when I watched it, I was like, Okay, I didn't understand the hype all about it, but then the steelbook came out and I want to revisit the hype because I want to see I want to see if I was being too hard on this musical. So I am going to revisit La La Land yet again because it deserves a second watch because you can change your mind upon watching something again. It's happened to me numerous times. West Side Story, Steven Spielberg edition. Now, I was not the biggest fan of the original. I'm probably one of the only people to say that. It was really long. I was kind of bored. I'm hoping with a modern interpretation, I'll stay awake. It'll have my attention and I will enjoy it more. So there we go. West Side Story. I love the red and the blue of that steelbook. Okay. Final pile. I told you I got every single movie that I could 
for 31 days. Okay. Next up, I have the trifecta and I need to get the fourth movie to make it complete. Every version of A Star is Born. The only one I do not have is the one with Barbara Streisand, which I need to get because that's like, you know, classic A Star is Born. Well, all these are classic, but A Star is Born with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper, I've seen numerous times. That one I could save for last because if I don't get to it, it's not a big deal. I'd rather watch something I haven't seen yet. And then we have the original, original version of Star is Born. And then also with Judy Garland. Never seen this one either. Looking forward. The next one on the list is so tacky and so trashy, but it has Johnny Depp. And that is Cry Baby. I actually almost forgot about this when I was pulling the movies out. And I had the list on my phone because I looked up movie musicals and I forgot about Cry Baby. I was like, yes, Cry Baby, I have that. I really want Criterion to pick Cry Baby to add into their into the collection because they've been focusing a lot on John Waters lately. And I feel like this one's getting overlooked for some reason. So I really want them to, you know, add in Cry Baby to the Criterion collection. Can we make that happen, Criterion, like next year or something? I would love that. It's got Johnny Depp. I mean, come on. It's semi-good. Because <laughs> we all know John Waters is tacky as... We all know that. We all know. But I enjoy that one. It's fun. It's campy. It's so campy. If you like campy movies, you'll love Cry Baby. Okay, these next two are a shout out to my girl Destiny because she sent me the original Sing movie. So I am going to watch this for the first time this month. I am committed. I will watch it. And then also Sing 2. She didn't send this to me. I picked this one up because I'm a completionist and I'm a psycho and the sickness is real. So I needed the other one. Next up is Oliver. This is from the Columbia Classics Volume 2 box set that I have in my physical media closet. I almost did not remember this one, but I was like, oh, can't forget about Oliver. So this is nice on 4K, as you can see. So that'll be nice to experience for the very first time. We're almost done. We are going to, we are going to just run right through this because the rest are all from Jasmine. She gifted me such wonderful things. So here we go. Victor Victoria, never seen it. Funny Girl with Barbara. I'm looking forward. I love Babs and I love the pink. We have a couple of Maryland titles, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, and also Let's Make Love. We have the unsingable Molly Brown, and finally ending with Thoroughly Modern Millie. All those I have never seen. So those are all the musicals that I plan on watching in the month of August, but let me know down below what is your favorite musical of all time, and also, what can you recommend to me that you do not see in my pile? Because I'm always wanting to know more about different musicals. Maybe I'm missing some, so comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time.